It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? Look at this hat. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? 
where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. Nothing. Let's go. It's like there's a hole in the sky. Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Jobs, probably. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the pillar? Yeah. Biggs, too. They were both in pretty bad shape. Let me through, damn it. Let but me Wedge through, wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Right. My ears are still ringing from it. This wasn't an accident. This is Sector 5, right? So where's this place you said Marlene is? 
where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't even imagine how it looks over here. Anywhere in the morning, follow the path. It doesn't feel like it. I think it's true what they said about Avalanche. Maybe I'll move back home. Urging people in neighboring regions to remain indoors until further notice. Also, Shinra has announced the establishment of an emergency response team to ascertain the cause of the great collapse and to determine if any other sectors are currently at risk. Officials currently believe that the bombings in the Mexican area are going to be a competitive That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett! <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray.
And that's how I met her. Her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market. Or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories, like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility, and how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, 
Maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows us stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. My ears are still ringing from it. This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. Over there. fight our way through, but it's our only shot. Pretty damn good, huh? 
Let's keep it up. Don't get killed. Likewise. Finish it quick. Finally! 
Those assholes will... <laughs> Keep it up, man. Over there! Huh? That a way out? I'm almost afraid to go back. Tifa. Does it look like we can go this way? No. There's monsters everywhere. Sure they saw to take us straight to the Sector 5 slums. <laughs> Wyma! <sighs> You're alive! Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> we can't afford to lose any more lives. Not now. Never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Careful out there.
Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. I see. I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Godspeed. I really hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. This is bad. <sighs> this is about all I could carry. Push yourself.
Let's see what's on the other side. Finally, I can use some fresh air. Damn it! I still can't believe this happened. Scepter 6 is right over there. We just need to walk a little bit longer, that's all. All the more reason to go someplace new and start over. I wish I hadn't Thank made it out. Don't say that. Things will work out. There's a lot of them. Hello! Anyone out? Need some help! Room. You're alive. <laughs> With me. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Tell you how I am to suck now. Oh no. Find anything to the bar yet? No. Take a look. <laughs> the bar. The roads are. Watch it. Hello! Buddy out there! A little more safe and safe. Hey! Hey! Help! Can you. Anyone? Hey! Help! That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's fall. Ready? One, two, three! Is this left of this? Coming down, right where you are. This Pinra. Wedge? Yeah! 
another one in the bag. to ask, but did you just shoot your way in here? Well, yeah. I gotta climb another damn ladder. Just holding up, okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his cats. You're right. We should treat him to a nice meal when he gets back. His choice.
No sir. Toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Not sure. this. Yeah! <laughs> 
trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know who leave that kind of mess. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go.
out. Good kitty. I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. Stop now. They'll never let us live it down. So, we carry that weight. 